Side Derby Days, Bristol City second Cardiff City here at Ashton Gate. It's the game all Bristol City and Cardiff fans look out for at the start of the season. With me now is a Bristol City fan and reporter, Toby. Toby, team news is out. It's in full. So Leary, Callas, Atkinson, Pring Scott, King as captain again. Rosengo, Odalda, Semenyo, Vyman and Martin. So that's Martin and Atkinson dropping. What do you think of that team news? Yeah, good. I think it's a back five still. I think Atkinson will probably play between Callas and Pring maybe as sort of left centre back Pring. And then O'Dowder and Alex Scott will drop back into to right wing back. But yeah, an attacking lineup. Cardiff, no clean sheets so far this season. So I think there'll actually be goals today. Hopefully, if City can keep a clean sheet, well, obviously, I think yeah. go on and win the game. So yeah. And Semenyo keeps his place from obviously a brilliant performance at Fulham, which from a fan's point of view, it wasn't brilliant, was it? But Semenyo is a bright spark. Do you think he'll be a danger to Cardiff's back line today? Well, in, a, in an attacking sense, City have looked pretty sharp when the opportunities have arisen. Obviously, Vyman had the hat-trick the week before prior to the yeah. FA Cup game. Uh, Semenyo, I think he sort of came of age. I think in those two goals, we saw exactly what he's about. You know, power, pace, precision. I think, well, Brian Tinian, we've had on commentary a few times, and he said he just needs to like work, you know, work on that final touch, yeah. that you know, the, the finishing. And it, it seemed to happen for him last week, and hopefully that now gives him confidence that he can go on and yeah. grab a couple today. And the atmosphere already is ridiculous with the Cardiff yeah. fans. So if he can silence them, I think we'll all be happy. And as you say, the fans, they're bringing 2,500 today. Bristol City got you know, 20,000 odd as well with tickets still on sale on the day. Do you think that'll make a difference today? Well, it's nice that we find, obviously, Bristol City, we're not, in a, we're not really in that much of a precarious situation with relegation. Doesn't look like we're going to make the playoffs, obviously. Uh, Cardiff are worse off than us. So it's nice that we have a big atmosphere and a big away following. And, you know, there's obviously, I think, probably 2,000 now sold that we actually get a bit of an atmosphere and a proper game day um, because a lot of the you know the, the performances recently have been below par, so it's nice that everybody can enjoy the occasion. Hopefully, we'll get the three points as well. A win today will be massive for either side, as you said. But both we are at the moment both down on the table. It's it's a big game as well. Cardiff, I believe, haven't won a league game since late November. Bristol haven't won a seven side derby Ashton Gate since November 2017, I think. So a win today would be absolutely massive for both teams, wouldn't it? Really big. I think the the, the away side has won on the last five occasions. Yeah. So hopefully, City can can change that today. Three points will really propel us forward. Obviously, we've got three matches this week as well. So yeah. we can come out of that with, you know, seven points. Seven, points, seven yeah. points would be nice. I don't want to be too optimistic, yeah, yeah. but seven points would be nice. Then I think everybody would be happy. Yeah. And finally, prediction today, Bristol City win the seven side derby? 3 1, Semenyo to open the scoring, Vyman, and then I'm going to go with Rob Atkinson for his first yeah, City come goal. On, then. I'll take that very much. Thank you very much, mate. Come on, nice you Reds. Thank you. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Club, a new fantasy football game coming to both iOS and Android very, very soon, where you can become the owner of your very own football club. Designing customised own football kits and badges, as well as build your own stadium and a team full of players from any of Europe's top five leagues. Seriously, guys, Club is going to be up there with some of the best football games out there. If you go to the top link in the description, the game's coming very, very soon, so you can go and find out more about Club, as well as pre-register, so you'll be one of the first uh, to play it when the game does go live. Thank you very much to Club for sponsoring yet another video, and let's back on with a vlog. Ellis, you run your own YouTube channel, Away yep. Days. You go to games all across the world. Recently, you've been to you know, San Siro in Italy. You've been to Portuguese games. Obviously, yep. you're a fan of Porto. Main clubs Leeds as well. So you've been to uh, many clubs uh, and stadiums in England. What brings you to the Summerside Derby today, then? I was looking for a game, and yeah. I, I was surprised to find that this is actually a derby. So, yeah. like, obviously, it was like, everyone was like, oh, come here. And I tweeted out and then the club replied and they were like, you should come here. It's like, yeah. why? I was like, because obviously, you know, obviously your main rivals are Bristol Rovers, yeah. Cardiff's main rivals are Swansea. So I'm interested to know what this derby actually is. So yeah. I think it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Well, yeah, it's, probably, it's one British City fans probably look out for because obviously Bristol Rovers in League Two, Cardiff, we've got a big rivalry with them. It was only, you know, 20 minute drive or something stupid like that. It's the one we look out for. It's usually when we... You know, Cardiff will sell out here, we'll sell out there. The only thing is, we it, it's a weird one because we usually win at their place, they usually win at here, this place. Um, so it's a weird one today. But what, what are you most looking forward to about today is you're seeing that how big the rivalry is because it's obviously one not many neutrals would really see as, a, as you said, a derby. Yeah, I think it's also the added flavour of the fact it could be a relegation dogfight yeah. or, or your season could kick start again today. So I think there's a lot on the line. I think it's going to be interesting to see just how that boils over to the game, I just really hope it's, it's not nil-nil. But yeah, I'm intrigued to see how it all goes. Yeah, it is. As we were saying off air, isn't it? It's just 
it's such a big game for not only the fans but the teams as well because kind of I think four points off relegation City if teams were around them today and we lose then we'll be down there as well and, as, as well. and we've got a few tough games coming up got obviously Swansea as well they're, they're doing well at the moment Blackpool they're, they're doing well as well Borough who have just turned insane under um, Chris Wilder yeah you said as well that this is your first time you're at Ashton Gate. What are your, your first thoughts for your first you know, 10 minutes here? Yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's, like I said, I like, I like a stadium where you can like step back a bit and look at it. Yeah. So you can't really do that as much here, well, where we're stood right now anyway, because yeah. there's walls. But I, we really like Bristol. I think Bristol's lovely. So hopefully the rest of the stadium, when we go and have a look around, yeah. looks just as good as this, because it's, it's really good first impressions. Hopefully the rest of it lives up to that yeah. as well. It is a very nice day. It was when you go down there and you've got the Atelier statue, you get you can stand back and it's, it's a very nice view as well. Okay. So finally then, seven side derby, what's your score prediction? Do you think Cardiff will come away with the three points as they usually do, or do you think Brissett can cause an upset and maybe uh, get the three points? I reckon 3-1 Bristol City. That would make my day. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, thanks. Ashton Gate is Bristol City 1, Cardiff 1. Cardiff went 1 0 up in the 31st minute uh, from a Masengo mistake, leading to, to a good header, to be fair. And then two minutes later, Chris Martin goes in, scores a one row of goal to, to bring it level. What was your first half thoughts then, Ashton? We've played well. I think they've, they've been in our half more than we've been in their half. 
I think Martin is playing very well. He's, I think he's using his strength to hold off um, Aidan Flint with his physicality, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It started off a bit flat. The atmosphere has been great throughout. Um, it then it, it stayed a bit flat in the middle, and then in the last 15 minutes, it, it went mental. Then it Bristol looked like they could have got a second with Semenyo. Uh, I think Semenyo had one or two chances campering. Went on a, on a good few runs. Who do you think is going to be the man to, um, if there is going to be a next goal, going to be the man to, to win it for Bristol City? Well, Semenyo can use his pace to get past Aidan Flint because Aidan Flint doesn't really have much pace, so he can use his acceleration to get past him and hopefully just get a lucky winner. That's all I'm hoping for, just to beat Cardiff. Yeah. I do. The atmosphere has been great, hasn't it? Yeah, very. We've made lots of noise saying Cardiff get battered. Yeah. yeah. And then finally, with your full-time prediction, are we going to go on and win it? Hopefully 2-1. Yeah, I, I do agree. Hopefully, we've, we've looked like we've, made the, we've created the better chances, but Cardiff having a bad, their new, their new signing from Man City is quite good, Owen Doyle. Yeah. Oh, no, not Owen, Doyle, number 22. But we're now attacking the south stand. Hopefully, we can get those three points. Come on, you Reds. Come on, you Reds.
Come on, you.